Welcome to our lesson on trigonometric graphs. So in this lesson, we're going to recognize and sketch the sine and the cosine graph. And we're going to begin with the sine graph. So it's important to remember that the sine of angle theta in a right angle triangle, when this is theta, is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. And we're going to look at how the sine of angle theta changes as we rotate around this circle from 0 to 360 degrees. And we'll plot the change along this axis here. So we'll start when theta is equal to 0. So we'll draw the triangle where we have at 0 degrees, which is along here, you can see that we touch the circle on the x-axis. So the triangle has no height. So in this case, the opposite side is equal to zero. However, the hypotenuse, you can see, is the radius of the circle. And the hypotenuse in this case is one. And the hypotenuse is always one because that is the radius of a circle. So the opposite is zero and the hypotenuse is one. So now we can work out sine of theta, which is sine zero, as the opposite zero over the hypotenuse one. And zero divided by one is zero. So when theta equals zero, sine theta goes at the origin. And as we rotate around our circle, we get to theta is equal to 90 degrees. So we have the opposite. The height of our triangle is now 1. You can see it is here. And the hypotenuse is still the radius, which has a length of 1. So the sine of angle 90 is the opposite, which is 1, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 1, which is 1. So when theta equals 90, sine theta equals 1. And we can plot this point here. We'll move on to when sine of theta for 180 degrees. This is when we're turning 180 degrees here. So now we're along this line. You can see again, the opposite has no height to our triangle. So this is zero. The hypotenuse is still the radius, which is one. So the sine of angle 180 degrees is zero, the opposite of the hypotenuse, which is one. And zero divided by one is zero. So when theta equals 180, sine theta is zero. Do you want to try and work out the sine theta value for 270 and 360 degrees? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for sine of 270, well, we, we rotate 270 degrees, so we lie along this line now, where you can see the opposite is now of negative 1 height. So the opposite is negative 1. The hypotenuse is still fixed as the radius, which is 1. So the sine of 270 is the opposite of the hypotenuse, which is now negative 1. So that point goes about here. And for the sine of 360, now we are rotating fully around the circle. So our triangle goes here, where we have zero height. So the opposite is again zero. The hypotenuse is again one, because it is a fixed radius. So sine of 360, is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, which is zero. And to plot these points together, we use a smooth curve, which is created from the circumference of the circle. So the sine theta graph becomes a smooth symmetrical curve. Okay, let's move on to the cosine graph. So again, we need to remember what cosine theta means. 
And here we have theta. And the cos of theta is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So we'll begin with the cosine of zero, where we have this side here at zero degrees. And you can see that the adjacent length is one, and the hypotenuse, which is the radius, is also one. So the adjacent is equal to one, and the hypotenuse is equal to one. So the cosine of zero is one divided by one, which is one. So that point goes here. When we look at the cosine of 90, we rotate our angle 90 degrees, so it becomes here. You can see now that the adjacent is zero because we're going vertically up. So the adjacent is zero. The hypotenuse is still the radius, which is one. So the cosine of 90 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is zero. So that point goes here. We'll move on to the cosine of 180, which is here along this angle. You can see the adjacent is now negative one. The hypotenuse is still the radius, which is one. So the cosine of 180 is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse which is negative one. Do you want to try and work out the cosine of 270 and 360? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for the cosine of 270, we rotate 270 degrees. So we are here. You can see the adjacent is zero because we're again, we're going vertically down. So the adjacent is equal to zero. The hypotenuse is still the radius, which is one. So the cosine of 270 is zero divided by one, which is zero. And for 360, we rotate fully around the circle. So we are here. You can see the adjacent is one. The hypotenuse is also one. So the cosine of 360 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 1. So we plot this point here. And again, when we join these points together, we create a smooth curve, which is formed by the circumference of the circle. OK, so now we're going to move on to interpreting our trigonometric graphs. So we can use these graphs to solve equations. And we'll begin with the sine of 135 degrees. Now it's important to know that this is your degree axis and this is your sine theta axis, given by this equation here. And this is now your cos theta axis in the green graph. So to work out the sine of 135, we go across to 135, which is here. And then we go across to our y-axis and you can see this is approximately 0.7 and for question 2 we have the sine of 315 so we go across to 115 we go down to our graph and then we go across and you can see this is approximately negative 0.7 do you want to try and work out the cosine of 270 and the cos of 45. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So the cosine of 270, well 270 is here and you can see when we go across this is zero. And for part four, the cosine of 45, we go up to our graph and we go across and this is approximately 0.7. Okay, we're going to move on to one more type of equation. So as well as finding the y values when you know the angle, we can also work out the angle when we know the y value. But this is a little bit more complicated. So we start with sine theta is 0.5. So we draw a line across at 0.5. Do 
and you can see that the line intersects our sine theta graph at two points here and here so there are two solutions to this the first solution is when theta is, a, is equal to 30 degrees which is this solution and the other solution is when theta is equal to 150 degrees which is here and for part two we draw a line at 0 0.7 which is here we draw two lines down so theta is approximately equal to 44 degrees which is here and the other solution where theta is approximately 136 degrees do you want to try and work out part three and part four you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready and for part three when cos theta is 0 0.5 we draw our line across and you can see the two solutions are here and here so this is 60 degrees and 300 degrees and finally for part four when we have 0 0.7 we draw a line through and again we have this solution and this solution which is approximately 45 degrees and approximately 315 degrees okay thank you very much for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care